Trash Talk. Today's topic, composting. I'm Maris. I'm Jess. So, um, compost, if I wanted to do it, how do I handle it? There are three ways in Nashville that you can do this. You can do it in your backyard, you can uh, pay for a company to come pick it up for you, or you can take it to your local convenience drop-off center. So if you were to do it yourself, but you didn't want to keep it in your backyard, you could drop it off at the convenience center. Yeah. When I compost, I separate my items between um, wet and dry compost goods. Now, most people don't really know what dry compost is. I don't know what it is. Yeah. <laughs> so, so in your in your dry compost bin, you can include all kinds of items that you will find in your home. Uh -huh. uh, some are pretty surprising, including um, flannel, the flannel and cotton materials. Okay. Yeah. Okay. They they will biodegrade. Uh, cardboard. So your toilet paper rolls, your kitchen rolls, your egg cartons, mm -hmm. um, even cardboard coffee cups. So any kind of cardboard, yep. low grade cardboard low basically. Low grade cardboard basically. Yeah. Yep. Anything that has been considered contaminated, so it's either wet or it's got food on it or greasy things, definitely put them into your composting. Even your fast food bags. Uh, this also includes um, what comes out of your vacuum, which could be Ooh. dog hair. Yeah, dog hair. That's Dust. weird. <laughs> I knew I saw something like yeah. that at the convenience center, but mm -hmm. I wasn't sure. So, yep. what is dog hair or human hair too? Human hair. All the hair that is collected in your shower, don't throw it in the in, into the landfill. Okay. Put it into your composting. What do we have here? Oh, the pizza box. It is unrecyclable. You cannot recycle this because it is contaminated. It's got oil, grease, uh, food, cheese on oh, there. Oh man, I it, didn't even know that. Yeah, uh, it will contaminate the recycling process. But you can and should put it in your composting. Okay, so um, with all this dry stuff and dry materials, you can actually add in the other things like uh, like the banana peels we were talking about earlier. Yeah, that so. Type of thing. It, this, in doing it in this way, in this in this tub, separating the, the dry materials from the wetter materials, it actually just will help you keep a clean at home. Right. You can put it all in here together, mm -hmm. but it's not going to be very nice. You could, so over, right, over in, in the freezer, for example, you could actually keep your wetter items, which will be all of your food based items. You've got your banana peels, you've got your coffee filters with your coffee grounds, your eggs, all the food you oh, wow. used to cook with, all the food that you have cooked and then didn't want to finish it, you can throw it all in, in oh, here. That's so awesome. Oh yeah, because yeah. then I mean it stops the stench and all that. Yeah, it stops it from rotting, so you keep it in there as long as you need and then when you're ready to then go to the the actual composting facility. Go ahead and dump Put all of this together. in the big tub. So with this here, um, just you know, for example, we have a piece of uh, brown paper bag. So yeah, the brown paper bag uh, itself is uh, compostable because it's a, it's made from organic materials. Right. So you can actually use that to line your trays if you don't want to get them dirty and you don't want to deal with cleaning with them. You can line whatever it is that you're putting in your freezer or your fr your uh, refrigerator. Perfect. To then take it out and dump it. Yeah. So uh, for me personally, I take mine to the the Metro Recycling Center that actually has its own uh, composting uh, containers that I can mm -hmm. just dump that in and it gets and dealt they with take it. industrially. Yeah. What did you mean by industrial compost? Well, so industrial composting is actually done on a much larger scale and it enables you to compost a lot more materials than you could at home. Um, when they do it, they have huge piles in a, in a bigger landscape and they use bulldozers and it's just a lot bigger and it actually gets a lot hotter in that, mm. which enables more materials to actually be composted and, you know, biodegrade. So it's breaking down a lot faster. Yes. In a bigger, much bigger scale. Yes. So what are the benefits of composting? Well, you are taking your materials and you are putting them into the earth where they can decompose naturally uh, versus putting them into the landfill where they will have no access to oxygen and it could take years and years for them to break down, if at all, 
while also releasing toxic gases into the environment. Which is awful for global warming. Yeah, absolutely. Trash talk. We learned what compost is, why we're doing it, where we're taking it, and tips on how to do it. I'm Maris. I'm Jess. And this is and Trash, trash talk. talk.